I'm going to be talking about some books and movies and TV shows and all that good stuff that I like to watch and read to help get me into the autumn spirit. It's been um, disgustingly hot outside and so I try and just stay in my house as much as possible. So I watch a lot, read a lot, pretend that it's autumn, and just lounge around in comfy clothes. Sometimes even just a bra. I got some really cute new bras from a brand called Lively who was kind enough to sponsor this video. So I'll do a little mini try on haul really quick. So from them I chose two bralettes and one padded bra, which is actually the only padded bra that I own. Lively is a linger lingerie, <laughs> lingerie, lingerie company that has more um, casual and comfortable items. They have a lot of styles to choose from, so you are bound to find something that fits you and fits your style. They're affordable, their prices start at 35 and go down from there, and the materials that they use for the bras are very breathable, extremely comfortable, so it never feels stuffy. Perfect to lounge around in the summertime. If you guys are interested in checking them out, I will have a description box in... I mean... <laughs> I will have a link in the description box and you can get $10 off your first order. And so let's jump right into it. I have got my list of things to mention. I think I'm gonna start with books because a few videos ago I did the Harry Potter picnic video and I mentioned that I was doing the Magical Readathon book challenge and a lot of the books that I'm going to mention, well all of the books that I'm going to mention um, now are from that, are from the challenge that I did. Uh, so these are my Magical Readathon books as well as books that will help get you into the autumn spirit. So the first books that I'm going to show you are from a series and it is The Raven Cycle and I love this book series. I first read them actually a long time ago but I only read the first three and I never read the fourth one. At the time that I was reading them is when I was living with Gracie and I was borrowing her books and then she moved out and I never read the fourth one. So for the readathon what I ended up doing was rereading the third book to give me a memory refresher and then reading the fourth book. The synopsis for the book series is kind of really difficult to explain without giving spoilers. I'm gonna try my best. There's not just one main character, there's like a group, so you get a lot of uh, background and info and perspective from all the characters. And then there's a girl named Blue Sergeant. She lives in a house full of psychics. Every year they go and they're able to see the ghosts of people who are going to die that year. Uh, she sees the ghost of a boy named Gansey, who she ends up meeting and becoming friends with. Gansey and his friend group are on like a quest to find this Welsh king that is supposedly, supposedly buried uh, in their town somewhere and will grant a wish if you wake him. I think that's kind of all that I can say without spoiling anything, but these books are wild. There's so much more to the story than just that. I feel like these are the perfect autumn read because the boys go to their fancy school and their school uniforms and something about it always just reminds me of autumn. And it also has a lot of magical elements and a lot of supernatural elements. Sometimes it can get pretty creepy, pretty spooky, especially the fourth book. So I feel like this is a good series to read for the autumn time. And moving on to the next book that I recommend for getting yourself into the autumn spirit is From the Dust Returned by Ray Bradbury. And Ray Bradbury is one of my all-time favorite authors. I love him. I have 
his quote tattooed in my skin. So from The Dust Returned, it is a story about a family, a very uh, weird and peculiar family, think Adam's family kind of, but different. So this is a family of like weird creatures and magical beings that all live in this um, magical Victorian gothic home together. And the main character, kind of the main character, is a young boy named Timothy and he is the only one who is a normal human being and he's kind of trying to figure out what he can do to be like the rest of them. It's super interesting and his writing style is so poetic and amazing and from him I also recommend The October Country, Something Wicked This Way Comes, and The Halloween Tree. The next book that I am going to recommend to help get you into the autumn spirit is not Harry Potter, but it is from the Harry Potter universe and it is The Tales of Beetle the Bard. This is such a cute and fun, really light read. It's a very small book. We all know that Harry Potter is, is like god tier to watch and to read during the fall. If you want some like new content but you still want to be in the Harry Potter universe, The Tales of Beetle the Bard is a collection of the um, folklore and kind of like bedtime stories that were told to witches and wizards in the Harry Potter universe. So when you read it, it feels like you're actually part of the universe and you're just reading your, you know, your usual bedtime stories that you grew up listening to. And those are the books that I recommend to read. Um, so now moving on to manga. And I actually only have one manga re like recommendation. So the manga that I recommend is called Witch Hat Atelier. I always want to say like Atelier and I know it's not that. Atelier. So this manga is about witches and it follows mainly one witch specifically, a little girl named Coco and she was actually not a witch but she became one. And what I really really love about this manga is the concept for their witches and wizards and how they are witches and wizards, like how they became that way and stuff like that is super unique. I've never heard any story um, describe witches like this. The art is so freaking pretty. So next I'm going to mention some TV shows. I actually don't have any new shows um, to mention for this category, but I'm just gonna give some old recommendations. I've definitely mentioned these before. So my first and very best recommendation for a TV show to get you in the autumn spirit is Over the Garden Wall. I've mentioned Over the Garden Wall like 10 trillion times, so if you haven't watched it yet, what are you doing? The story follows two stepbrothers, Wirt and Gregory, as they are lost in these mystical woods trying to find their way back home. It takes place in the fall, the scenery is beautiful, you will love it, 10 out of 10, recommend. And the next TV show that I'm going to recommend is another cartoon, and it is Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls actually takes place during the summer, but for some reason it will always give me autumn vibes anyway, probably because there's so many um, mystical, magical, and mysterious things happening in the show. I feel like I don't really need to give a synopsis for Gravity Falls because I think everybody knows what it is. It's best. I love it. Highly recommend. And if you just want to watch like one episode that will definitely get you in the Halloween spirit, then just watch the episode Summerween where they celebrate Halloween in summer. And there you go. So next up I have some movie recommendations to help get you in the fall spirit and the first one is one that I think that I've mentioned before but I I don't know if I have but I watch this movie every single fall I love it so much I think it's so cute 
and so underappreciated, and it is The Odd Life of Timothy Green. This movie is adorable. It will definitely get you into the autumn spirit because there are magical elements. It also takes place during the autumn time, and so the scenery is breathtaking. The story itself is really, really cute and meaningful and heart-touching. It is about a couple that wants to have a child, but they find out that they are unable to. They end up writing down all of these qualities that they wish their child would have, and then they put it in a box and they bury it in the garden, and the next day when they wake up, there is a child there that has grown from the dirt and has all of the qualities that they wrote about, super, super cute, and I highly recommend it. The next movie recommendation that I have is The Dead Poets Society. This movie is very honest. It is heartwarming and heartbreaking at the same time. You will cry, for sure. It gives me a lot of autumn vibes because it does take place in the fall, so there's a lot of really pretty scenery. It's following these boys at a fancy prestigious school with school uniforms which like I mentioned before with the raven cycle always reminds me of fall for some reason. It's got Robin Williams so you automatically know it's gonna be a good movie. So the next movie recommendation that I have is Kubo and the Two Strings and this is one of my favorite movies. It is like a master it is a stop-motion movie from the studio Leica? 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 The story follows a boy named Kubo who plays his little guitar thing and has the ability to make paper come to life. Some shit happens, some bad people are after him, and he's on an adventure to do some stuff. I should look up a synopsis. <laughs> Young Kubo leads a quiet life in a small village until a spirit from the past renews an age-old vendetta, plunging him into a search for his father's magical armor to survive. And then I'm only gonna mention one more movie that I think you should watch to help get you into the autumn spirit. It is a classic, but a highly overlooked classic. I feel like people forget about this movie a lot, and it is Sleepy Hollow. Spooky as heck, Headless Horseman, takes place in the fall, young Johnny Depp, young Christina Ricci. I'm pretty sure we all know the, the tale of Sleepy Hollow and the Headless Horseman, so I'm, I'm not gonna give a synopsis. So next up, I'm going to give some anime recommendations. My first recommendation is Laid Back Camp. The synopsis is some girls who go on camping trips, and that's it. It is the chillest story ever, but it is so cozy. They go camping in fall and winter. The scenery is beautiful. It is educational. All the places that they camp at in the anime are real places in Japan that you can go camp at, which I am 100% doing. I save them on my maps, and I will go camp there. The next anime that I'm going to recommend is Violet Evergarden, and this anime I actually had tried starting in the past, but I ended up dropping it after a few episodes because it was just too slow paced for me at the time. Generally, I like really action packed anime, but I ended up giving it another shot recently because I was in the mood for a very calm and chill anime to watch and so I decided to try rewatching this one and I watched it all the way through in a day and I loved it. Violet Evergarden is about a child soldier who was used as a weapon of war until she lost everything including both her freaking arms and was finally discharged from the war and now is trying to integrate into normal society. She gets a job at a company that writes letters for people and so she is trying to um, connect, write letters, and learn about emotions and 
what love is. It is emotional, heartfelt. I think this anime is a good watch to get you into the autumn spirit just because it takes place in a Victorian era, which always reminds me of autumn no matter what. Some of the episodes do take place in the autumn, so you also get some really nice like autumn scenery in there as well. And then the last category on my list is songs. So these are some songs that I think are perfect to get you into the autumn spirit. So the first song is A Little Wicked by Valerie Brossard. Sorry for butchering her name. This song gives off major witchy vibes and so I think it is perfect song to help get you into a spooky autumn spirit. It's also just kind of a badass female song. The next song that I recommend to get you into the autumn spirit is Cold Steel Hands by Willow's Young Crow. And this song is actually by one of my lovely viewers who reached out and told me that he made folk music and so I gave it a listen and I absolutely loved it so I highly recommend you guys go check him out and give him a listen especially if you like folk. It's my favorite genre of music. It's cozy and it's great and I highly recommend it. Would you make me a call fear too? And the last recommendation that I have is the song House of the Rising Sun by The Animals. This is an oldie and a classic, but something about it gives me really hardcore autumn vibes. It's very chill, but kind of spooky. And it's been the ruin of many a poor boy. And that is all of my recommendations, I think. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it helps you get into the autumn mood. And that's pretty much it. So, till next time, stay cozy. Bye!